Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina. I'm a DIYer and also the co-owner of Studio Column where I share my artwork with you. If you've been following along, then you know that I've been working on our bedroom and we've been DIYing it slowly. We are one step closer to finishing and to recap, we basically built this DIY storage headboard that you see behind me. I also painted the walls. Well, actually, we just painted one wall. We made some Ikea hacks and also DIY'd my faux marble nightstands, which turned out amazing. So if you haven't seen any of those, make sure to go back to catch up. I still have a ton to do on my list, like build some furniture pieces slash find some furniture pieces because I've been struggling a little bit there. I also wanted to DIY some, so we're gonna do that in this video. We obviously have to paint the wall still, and I also need to figure out what is going on with this little corner in my room. So basically when you walk in, you see our closet and then our bathroom to one side. So it's kind of an awkward little nook that I'm not sure what to do with. And I wanna figure it out this week because it really does set the tone for the rest of the room. So if this area doesn't look good, I'm not sure how the rest of it is gonna turn out. So that should be interesting. I also have to show you my mood board. So we are in full on makeover mode now. So let me give you a little overview of the room so far and the little nook that I need to figure out. Despite what you guys see here, the rest of the room is actually in shambles. So we kind of just have everything piled up on this side and I am still putting things together. So someone asked if I'm leaving the bed on the floor and no, we are not. We are gonna be putting it on a little platform. So this isn't how it's gonna stay, but it definitely is a vibe. I don't mind it being low on the ground at all. But I think elevating the bed is just gonna make it feel a lot larger because right now I feel like the nightstands are kind of overpowering it. So we still have to paint all of these walls and I basically realized that we have one, two, three, four, five, and then six walls to basically paint. So I need to do that this week. And then here, I obviously still need to address all this, but this is kind of the entrance to the room. I feel like there is potential to do something here. I just don't know exactly what yet. So that is the closet and this is to the bathroom. And I definitely think that there needs to be some type of artwork right here. I unfortunately can't really put anything here because there's absolutely no room for it. But maybe we could put something right here along this little skinny part or right here. Here. So I'm trying to figure that out for this video. So that is currently what the room looks like and I want to show you guys the mood board so that you can kind of get a better idea of what I'm envisioning for this space. So most of the time when I'm planning out a bedroom makeover, I kind of have a mood board already finalized with items that I want to buy or plan on DIYing. But with this room, I kind of wanted to see how I felt at the different stages of it before I actually fully planned it out. So this is the photo that really started it and and that's what made me want to create my headboard behind us. So I basically built everything around that. You can totally tell that the color palette is pretty neutral, but it has fun pops of the citrine color, as well as rust and mustard, which are colors that I always gravitate towards. So keeping that in mind, I think that the creamy yellow undertone walls really work in here. So I'm really happy with the choices so far, and in the mood board you can see that I want to do some sconces on both ends of the nightstands. I think the sconces are gonna add some nice mood lighting, and my goal here is to make it super cozy, so I hope that kind of comes across in the mood board. I'm trying to find the balance between making it colorful as well as making it feel luxe and really inviting and cozy and warm. That's honestly my main goal with this bedroom and I feel like so far we've been doing a good job of that. The mood board is officially done so we have to make the rest of this room come to life and I'm gonna start by just painting the rest of the walls. There is a lot of trim that I have to work around so instead of taping and cutting it in I decided to try out a edger painter. I've never tried anything like this before but hopefully it works because it'll save me so much time okay let's try this out Ooh, yes that is working really well actually oh that is clean wow okay 10 out of 10 i would definitely recommend this Time to cover up the sample page. 
Apologies in advance if I look insane. <laughs> this is 31. You look so sick. <laughs> Working on this room has just made me feel so inspired to DIY more furniture pieces. So we're going to do another one for this video. I've been on the hunt for a little armchair or a little side chair for the room, but I just cannot find the right one. So I came across this one and I just love the shape so much. You guys know that I love arches. It's totally a unique piece. And the one that I saw online, it comes with two, but I just need one of them. And my DIY brain always tells me that I can probably DIY it for cheaper so I'm going to do that today. I'm basically using these same dimensions as the original except I'm not going to be adding any fabric to it. I just want it to be wood and then probably create a cushion on top. To be honest, I don't think we're gonna actually sit on this chair. I feel like any chair that you put in a bedroom is probably gonna end up with a huge pile of clothes on it which is probably what's gonna happen to this one. So for me, definitely know that this is gonna be more of a decorative statement piece. So this is gonna be made up of three pieces, one for the back, one for the seat, and then one for the front legs. So I just cut those out first, and then we'll go back in and cut the arches. When I saw this on Pinterest, I immediately pinned it because it's such a unique piece. And lately I've been inspired to incorporate more statement pieces, especially if you look at celebrity homes, they always have one of a kind pieces, which usually costs a ton, but my new philosophy is that everything is DIYable. So why not make it ourselves for just a fraction of the cost? To make the arches perfectly round, I ended up making a compass, which essentially is a piece of wood with two holes in it, one for your pencil and then one for a nail. Taking your time to build a compass like this honestly makes all the difference because look at how clean the lines are for this. And when you're doing this, you just want to measure the same length that you did. So this is 18 inches across, so half of that is nine. So it's nine inches halfway and then nine inches down. Now I have to do the same thing for the legs, except I'm going to have a two inch border on both sides for the legs, so that's gonna be a little bit trickier. The back side of the chair was pretty easy for me to cut, but once I got to the legs, it was a little bit trickier. I love how this is coming along, and my overall vision for the room is just to have it feel inviting, cozy, and also playful. And I personally think this chair screams playful, so I'm building this to be more of a statement piece rather than an actual chair. Otherwise, I would definitely recommend adding a lot more support to this. Good thing I just bought a fresh pack of scroll blades. No matter how many times I've done this, I am bound to make some mistakes. Yeah, I definitely should have taken breaks in between so that it doesn't overheat. I'm gonna save this for another project. I need to give Skillshare a quick shout out because they are sponsoring today's video and they've always been such a great resource, especially for a creative like me. They come up with new classes every single month and I've taken them for both personal and also for business development. So I definitely recommend checking that out. And I've also have just loved taking their classes on how to be a better content creator and also how to be a better entrepreneur. One of my favorite classes is with Sonia Rasala called Start Your Creative Career, Build a Sharp, Smart Online Presence. Skillshare has classes on a huge variety of topics. You can learn illustration, graphic design, photography, UI and UX design. There truly is something for everyone and I love that you're able to just learn at your own pace and watch it whenever and wherever you want. If you haven't joined Skillshare yet, they're giving the first 500 people to use my link, one of the best deals that they have right now. So if you click below, you'll get a 30-day free trial of their premium membership as well as 40% off of your first year. This is the best deal that they've ever done. So if you wanna check them out, I'll have all the info pull up for you.
on this. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't trust myself either. Guys, Brian never wants to make a pile of old goodies. Who oh. needs to? because the arches are perfect and smooth and round. This is already looking like such a fun piece and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the whole thing down with a tack cloth. If you're not familiar with these, this is a tack cloth. It basically is like a cheese cloth with a little sticky residue. And once you wipe it on your project, it'll pick up all of the sawdust and make it ready for paint. So you can see right here, there's a bunch of sawdust and this is really important to get off. While that's drying, I want to work on the cushion and I'm using all scrap material for this except for the actual fabric that I'm using. This is the scrap piece that I used for my nightstand. I practiced on this and if you didn't watch that video, go back and watch it because honestly the results are so, so good. So I'm going to use this piece and then I also have leftover foam from the headboard and also leftover batting. So I'm going to cut this. And I think I'm gonna go with a circle shape. I think that will really complement the arches on the chair well. And I'm so glad that I built this compass because I'm just gonna use it to map out the circle. I've never upholstered a circle cushion before, but this was surprisingly easy. You just want to make sure that everything is super topped. Cushions are an easy way to add a fun pattern or color to your existing furniture, and I definitely am still in the checkerboard era. And I recently saw a TikTok that said that checkerboard is 2023's chevron pattern, which I can totally see happening if it gets too trendy, but I also think that this is such a classic pattern. It's been around forever, so I'm hopeful that it stays timeless, but regardless, I'm loving it now, and it just makes me so happy to look at. One of the hardest things about starting off in a new place is finding the correct artwork for your walls. I clearly have a lot of empty space that I'm working with. I did bring a few pieces with us, like some of this DIY artwork that I have behind me, but today I'm on the hunt for some frames as well as any big pieces of artwork that is already made. And of course, I also plan on DIYing some, so that is today's goal. And I usually like to start off at HomeGoods or TJ Maxx because they always have so many amazing frames and also at a really good price. So I'm gonna go ahead there and see what we can find. show you guys some of the items I got because I feel like I found so much good stuff and this was actually at TJ Maxx and usually TJ Maxx does not have a good home section but I feel like here in California all the decor stores are just so much better everything is also nice and neat and they just have a huge selection so the first thing I got were these frames it was only 30 bucks for three of them it has this detailing on it which is really what sold me and I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it black or maybe add some gold to it but overall this was such a good find I also grabbed this little drawing and again the frame on it is pretty cute it's black with a gold detail and I think I'm gonna keep the little painting because it's just so precious and I love that it looks hand-drawn this is another frame it has a cute print on it but 
we're not gonna keep it. This was only $13 and I love the wood tones on this. You guys can tell I'm into kind of a deeper wood right now. So when I spotted this, I knew I had to grab it. Now I just have to figure out what to put in it. There were so many cute little frames there. So first I got this gold wavy one. I obviously have been loving the wavy trend. This one was only $8 and it's one of those tabletop frames. So I have to figure out how to actually hang a hook here so I can put it onto the wall. Wait, it actually does have little hooks here. Okay, perfect. So yes, I will be hanging this somewhere. And I think these next few pieces, I'm gonna put them together to create a little vignette. So I got a little oval one as well. I feel like you don't really see that many oval frames. So I love that this is pretty ornate and the gold on it is pretty good too. So I don't have to change it. I mentioned this in a previous video, but I wanna add like little random mirrors on my wall. So this is the one that I found for only 10 bucks, which I think is amazing. And it totally reminds me of the anthropology primrose mirror you guys can see yourselves right there i'm gonna hang them all up together to see how it looks but i have a feeling that it's going to look really good none of the artwork there really spoke to me so i didn't buy any of the other artwork but i did find this painting of the starry night this was only 20 dollars, and i love the frame on it i just couldn't pass it up and if you did not know this is actually brian's favorite painting so i basically bought it for him I don't really know where we're gonna put it, but I'm gonna surprise him later and show him this. I don't know if it's cheesy to put artwork like this up in your homes, but I'm just having fun with this apartment. So I think this is gonna look great in our office. And it just makes me so happy to look at, so I'm just excited to hang this up in our eventual office. So I just gessoed this and I used a palette knife to get some texture on there. This is gonna be a pretty minimal painting, but what makes it more interesting is having a lot of texture. So I'm using a big brush to put down it. I'm using a big brush to put down an underpainting. So I want to add a background color first and then go over it. And that will give us some warmth as well. You guys know I do not like to waste things. So I'm using a sample paint that I got for the bedroom that didn't end up working out. So I'm going to put this all over. And it's kind of just a warm, neutral color. And I think it's going to act as a nice background for this piece. I'm creating my own version of this painting that I saw on Pinterest. It's a print you can get from a lot of different decor sites and it ranges from $600 up to $800. It's a little steep for a print, so I'm making my own version, but I wanted there to be a lot of texture, so I'm using a canvas. Adding this base layer with the underpainting really does make a difference. Even if this is a black and white painting, you're able to have a warm undertone, which I definitely want since the whole bedroom is pretty warm. And you'll notice with the background, I used a wide Water down black just so that it's a little bit thinner and it will let that paint underneath peek through. When it came to creating the actual shapes, I'm gonna layer white mixed with a little bit of that brown just to give it some dimension. I let my brush strokes be pretty broad and loose and this is gonna give it a thicker layer so that it will really contrast against the black. Going into this room design, I just really want it to reflect who we are as people. So of course I'm incorporating a lot of DIY artwork where I can. And doing an abstract piece like this is just the perfect way to let go, create something and make it personal. Okay, I got you a present. For what? Just because, hold up. <laughs> well, my birthday is coming up in a long time from Your now. Your birthday? This is just a just because. What? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Dude, what the heck? The Starry Night? This is my favorite painting of all time. Remember when I tried to make you one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we don't talk about those days anymore. Back in the day when I got my first credit card, it was actually the Starry Night. Mm -hmm. This I is so that. cool. Yeah, he used to carry around that little Starry Night credit card. And since you don't have it anymore, now you can have this big version. I think we could probably put it in the office or something, right? And Tina really got me into paintings and art and mm -hmm. stuff, so I have a better appreciation for art in general. So thank you, honey. Brian loves to go to the art museum, except he hates going to modern art museums. Oh, he does not God. understand it at all. It's a picture of like a trash can. But Literally, there was a oh. picture of a trash can once. Thank you, honey. Appreciate it so much. You're welcome. So nice. I'm definitely learning how to take my time to decorate as we get towards the finish line of this makeover. So these things are probably going to move around until I get the rest of the stuff in here. But I'm just so glad where we're at a place where things are finally on the wall and it just feels so much more homey in here. <laughs>
me we actually ran out of paint so I have to finish that for the next video the rest of the room is coming together and I am so happy with the progress that we've made I really love the chair and I think the painting came out really well I just need to frame it let me know your thoughts on today's projects and also if you have any other ideas of what I can incorporate into the bedroom please leave them down in the comments because we are going to finish this for next week's video if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up below and if you want to follow me and see more behind the scenes make sure to follow along on the vlog channel we've been having so much fun over there and i will have that linked below for you all right guys that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching stay inspired and i will see you in the next one bye